press, squat. Can you bring the palms together and touch it into the heart center? And just take a couple of nice breaths here. If this position isn't comfortable for you, just sit in like a classic um, on your bum in meditation, easy pose. And I'm just gonna sit here, connect to the breath, and see if there's areas in the body that we can soften. So that we're always approaching our movement and our yoga practice with a sense of lightness and ease. And then from here, I'm gonna just slowly put my bum down, bring my legs out, let the soles of the feet gently come together, but my feet are quite far away from me. And then just lengthen forward and relax there. Breathing really nice and deep always, just letting the breath of the, uh, the body flow alongside the breathing. that and just flip it round come into the hands and the knees and just move around here get into the body however it feels good for you it could be very different every day If it's morning time, we're, we're bound to feel, feel the body, lots of different areas that we can stretch out and maybe let out a little sigh too. And then I'll shift into downward dog and just be really easy with it, a little flowy, breathing into the body, grounding through the palms and the feet, lifting naturally up up and away through the tailbones, but I did a nice sesh with Mike Taylor on YouTube yesterday and I'm reminded of how like, you know, just keep it really flowing, make it really about feeling into your body, nothing more, nothing less. So I'm just going to walk my hands all the way back and relax into the forward bend there. I'm going to reach my hands around behind me, interlock the fingers and give myself a bit of a stretch out there. You really want to soften and relax everything. So not holding any tension at all, it's just really letting the breath do the work here, softening into my knees just to give myself a little bit more give into the hips and the lower back as well. Really feeling quite strong into the fingers as well, just to, to keep the upper body energized here as I try to relax it through. And then I'm just going to slowly release them all the way up. Inhale, reaching the arms up nice and tall, and then exhale, side stretch, easy, easy, inhaling up, and then exhale, give yourself another side stretch there, and inhaling up, I'm going to go over to the side all the way again, and inhale up, and exhale into the side, I'm going to inhale up. I'll step round to face you now. Take the legs wide apart. Come into a forward bend. I'm going to keep my toes pointing toward each other. And then I'm just going to stretch over to one side and relax there for a couple breaths. And I'm going to go around to the other side and find that stretch and relax there for again a couple breaths. And then I just come back into that. Forward. I'm going to walk out with my legs wide, come into a plank position and hold it there, breathing nice and deeply, keeping it soft, keeping it moving. 
keeping those legs wide apart, just a slightly different flow. I'm coming into a back bend with the legs wide and then tucking them under and back into down dog variation with the legs wide apart and then release it through. Up down again, back bend. And then all the way back, wide leg, walking the hands along back with me and then relaxing there, nice and easy, coming up. And I'm gonna keep my knees nice and wide with the feet. I'm gonna soften into it. Nice big breath, arms reaching up and exhale. And then again, inhale, reaching the arms up nice and tall. And exhale, one more like that. Inhale. And exhale. And then just a side stretch. So turning that left foot in the right angle. It's probably going to be your right leg. So just let the right side turn open. Nice, easy triangle pose here. Reaching that arm wide open. And then I'm going to fall the hand down. I'm going to come into a nice revolved triangle. So just reaching that arm all the way back. Get myself into a nice, gentle, flowing twist. And then just slowly release, coming all the way back up and turning the other foot on the right angle. Arms can go nice and wide. And exhale, shift the ribs in, come into that tilting triangle. Keep those arms reaching apart away from each other, keeping yourself like a big star, stretching out in every direction. I'm going to keep my arm reaching all the way across and then fall over into that open triangle, revolve it round, breathing deeply. Flattening into that twist. And then slowly release it and just swing it around. Come all the way back up and step back. Inhale, nice big breath, reach the arms up tall. And exhale, fall the body forward, bend. Inhale, looking the head up, nice long spine. Exhale, let's walk our hands all the way back out to our plank position. And for bomb, we're gonna inhale here. And exhale, bend the elbows down. Inhale, lift up. And exhale, bend the elbows down. Inhale, lift up. And exhale, bend down. Let's do two more. Inhale, lift up. And exhale, bend it down. And inhale. Totally shaking, exhale, bend it down. <laughs> inhale, lift up, and then exhale, come back into a downward dog, lifting and breathing here. Feeling into the back of my legs, feeling into my tummy, pulling in the back, really lifting me up there. Easy breathing. Then I'm going to inhale, reach my right leg up, big breath, expanding it wide, and then exhale, step that right leg all the way forward. I'm going to put my back heel down, inhale, reach the arms up, and then exhale, and then inhale, reach your backside, reversing that warrior exhale, and a nice side stretch there, and then bring those hands all the way down, step it back into my downward dog position, and then inhale, reaching that left leg all the way up, big breath, really stretching it out there because I can. And then stepping that left leg all the way forward. And ground the back heel down. Inhale the arms up. And exhale. And inhale, reaches it back. And exhale, nice side stretch here. Really reaching it across, finding that lovely diagonal line, nice and open. And then step it back all the way back into my down. I'm just going to release myself, come all the way down to the ground, interlock the fingers behind me, and inhale, stretch it up here. Really nice into the hands, relaxing into the legs and breathing deeply. And then I'm just going to slowly let the hands come down, keep my body up if I can, press all the way up. Sit back all the way in child's pose, take a break, relax here for a sec or two. And then I'm going to release, so I'm going to come back into my plank pose and hold it here for a couple breaths. Nice, easy breathing, and then just 
front to a nice sword thing and reaching up and back. And release. And another one reaching up and back. Side thing opens it up. And release. And again, I'm going to do that. Inhale up and back. Open that stretch up. And then release. And then inhale opens it all the way up and back. And then release. And then just shift it all the way back into downward dog. Take your inhale. Reach that right leg up. Big breath. And just feeling into that side, reaching that leg into different angles, feeling it out, nice easy movement. Step that right leg forward, come into a nice lunge, inhale, and exhale, twist, and inhale, reach that left arm up, and exhale, I'm going to twist it out here, bringing that elbow across the thigh, bringing it nice long line, soft shoulders, breathing deep into the ribcage. And then just open it up, nice big breath, and reaches that arm back, and then just do some little circles uh, with the arms, all oh, the way up and around, and then I'm just going to gently let that right knee fall open, and come into a little happy twist here, twisting, a little hip opener here, relax the shoulders, and fall into it nice and deep. We hang out here for a few breaths, just really encouraging ourselves to relax and let go and feel into that hip side. And maybe into your back as well, depending on where you feel it. gonna for a sec bring that left knee back and give myself a little hip flexor stretch there. Oh nice and open. And then just gently release it, sit back. I'm gonna find myself in a nice hamstring stretch here. Big breath, relax there. And then I'm gonna try my so if you're not practicing your splits yet you can just hang out here and get quite deep into that hamstring or try to bring the legs out and then just hang here, breathe nice and deep. So we've got loads of different areas to explore into those splits. And I'm gonna bring my back leg round, come into a nice boat pose, and then I'm gonna bring my legs down, hold it here, breathe. Maybe do some breath of fire. All the way back up, nice reach those legs up, reach those arms up, and then just fall over to one side and lift it back up and fall over to the other side. Reach it back up and then just cross the legs or scooch them nice and easy all the way behind you. Come back into our easy plank pose here, breathing and then just shifting it side to side to open into that side plank, breathing along the side of the movement, maybe just seeing what it's like to lift one leg up and then release, and then find that reach with that other leg, and then release, coming back into our downward dog and reaching the left leg up, nice big breath, opening up, feeling it out, just checking in and noticing where and how you can move your body. Okay, and then step it through. We're coming into a nice lunge here. Inhale up. Exhale, twist it up. And then inhale. Oh yeah, oh yeah, that's good. That's a good stretch. And then come into that twist. Bring those palms together. Oh, long line, easy shoulders, and then check it out. Look around. I'm breathing really quite sort of intentionally into my ribcage here. So 
So I'm going to get that twisting action right from my mid spine. Yeah, and then let's come down out of it, and then reach that one. Easy, 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 breathing. And then do a couple, another big, another big one. And I'm gonna gently put that knee down, let that left knee fall on in and chill out here. And then just bend the back knee, see if I can grab the back foot, give myself a little stretch there. And I'm going to just release it back, put the hamstrings, chill out, relax, relax into it. Oh, I feel in my glutes. Feel those hamstrings and then just see what it's like if you wanna come into a little split action there. Oh, just had a sudden flash of a dream I had last night. Oh, what do you know? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's really nice to get into those hamstrings and then we're gonna go gently release. So let's come into a nice forward bend here. Inhale, reach in the arms up nice and tall and then exhale hinge forward relax there for a couple breaths really nice easy breathing throughout the spine and then from here I'm just going to reverse this flow flip myself around bring my feet behind and come into a nice plow stretch out the back there breathe deeply Maybe even bend the knees a bit, get length of the back of the neck here. Slowly release. I could honestly just sometimes hang out there, really like stretching my neck and shoulders for like a long time. And then I remember that I'm recording a video right now. So I should probably, you know, get on with it. <laughs> Keep it going. So now I'm just coming to a nice happy baby to gently release and I'm going to rock and roll myself all the way back up and just cross the legs or again you can just easily scooch them around behind you and we'll slowly and gently step back into a nice downward dog and breathing deeply here and let's reach the right leg up nice big breath and steps it all the way through i'm going to put it down inhale the arms up and then exhale get into this nice warrior two inhale reach that back and then here we get to do a fun little Three, coming into a warrior three, stretching and reaching those legs up. Maybe fold the hands all the way down, come into a forward bending split, and then inhale, reach the right arm up, and twist it out, and then put it down, and inhale, reach the left arm up, try not to fall over. In I say just try not to fall over, it doesn't matter at all. Inhale, reach the left arm up, and then exhale, come all the way back down, forward bend. Inhale, reaches it up, and inhale. And exhale, stay on the right leg, back with the left. Easy peasy with that dancer pose. Inhale up and exhale, stretch it out there. A couple breaths. 
I love this pose as well. And then slowly release. Let's try for a forward stretch here. Just grab the foot and stretch it out. And then let's just bring that left in front of the right thigh, left foot in front of the right thigh and give ourselves a bit of a stretch there. Nice, big, deep lean forward. That's good. And then just slowly release. Let's try and reach it back into that warrior three, reaching it long, flying through the air. I can actually see places down below me high. And then just step it back. Nice and easy, inhale the arms up. I'm gonna interlock my fingers here and give myself a bit of a stretch. Expand the chest and then oh, relax there. And just try to remember that all on the other side. We'll bring our hands all the way down and then just step back. I'm going to come into a plank pose. Inhale, exhale, down we go. Inhale, lift the head and heart. And then exhale. And then left leg goes, inhale, reaches up. And exhale, steps it all the way forward. And ground that down. Inhale, up. And exhale. Inhale, reverse the warrior. And then exhale, see if we can swing ourselves all the way through, catch that balance, reach that right leg all the way back. Maybe let the body fall forward, bend in the split, relax here, nice, easy breathing. And then see if we can evolve the half moon, left arm stretches back and release. And then right arm reaches up. Oh, good, exhale. Release, and then we'll just step forward and up. Inhale, and come back onto that left foot. The right leg goes behind, inhale, reach up. Easy dancer pose. And then release. And then I went forward, didn't I? Reaching that right leg up, give it a stretch here. And then release, bring that right foot in front of the left thigh. See if we can stretch out on that right hip. Again, this is a really nice stretch for me, I find. Getting into that right hip, still reaching the body kind of long, spacious, easy. So much, so much kind of better with ourselves if we're just easy about it. And then reach that right leg back, fly it out. And then step back. <sighs> Interlock the fingers. Stretch there. Easy, relax. And gently release. Bring those hands down. Step back into our plank pose. And then exhale. And all the way down. Inhale. Upward. And then exhale, sit back, relax, place your right ear for us then. I'm going to bring my right arm underneath my left, walk it all the way under, and then relax there. Try to get the breath going into my, under my right shoulder blade. And then switch sides, other side, stretch it over. And then uh, and across, just step it through and come into a nice shoulder stand here if you wanna, if you wanna do a shoulder stand. So, uh, and try. Different things with the legs.
then again, as I release, I'm just coming right into my happy baby. And then I'm going to bring the soles of my feet together and let my hips fold open and relax here for a few breaths. I can hear <laughs> my boyfriend's awake. He's walking around upstairs. He's going to want to come through the living room to get to the kitchen. Okay, and then I'm just going to come up and practice my handstands because if any of you are following my Instagram, I'm doing my handstand practice every day, every day. So at this point, you could probably just kind of like keep moving around, flow around, intuit your practice, do some, do a little bit more of this twisting stuff, or maybe, uh, yeah, that's good, like some hip openers as well. And I'm gonna come over and just try to kick into my, my handstand, reaching that leg up. That's enough there. We did it. We balanced for a couple seconds. <laughs> and it just is fun to play. I did it outside yesterday. That felt really good. Oh, one more time. One more time. I'll try it. It's quite nice to be coming away from the wall just to see what it's like. Songs wall. Uh, okay. Yeah. And just oh, feeling that movement all the way around. Back to the squat. Maybe relax for a sec. Soles of feet together. Nice one, everybody. Have a wicked day. Enjoy your flow. Enjoy your body. Enjoy just being alive. We always nice to take like that moment before and after the practice to like connect into yourself and see what it feels like just to be thankful and grateful for the people in your life, just the world as it is, because there's so many wonderful things in this world and beautiful nature, and the fact that our body breathes for us and our heart beats for us, those are all really miraculous things that we can experience on a daily basis if we choose to. And then also knowing for me anyway that my practice is really about practicing and committing to feeling love and patience and kindness, compassion, forgiveness, non-judgment in my heart for myself so that I can carry that and extend that out into the world and into my environment. So all to love everybody. Have a really, really wicked day. Um, peace, peace, peace. Namaste. Enjoy.